Fox Television 641. A snowy start to your uh, morning. Instead of driving to work, maybe you should ski. That's right. And if you do happen to have a spare set of skis around, that's no problem. But if you're like, you know what, how do I, how do I make them work properly? How do I get them going? Fiona Odlum is at the Windsor Park Nordic Center asking the all-important question, um, before we go skiing, do we wax or not wax? <laughs> Uh, well, I know, Drew, you do wax your arms, uh, like, what is it, every Thursday? No, not arms. So... These are hairy beasts, but I will get my brows waxed today at Jerry's Hair Salon. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you team. really? Yeah. Sure. Hey, it's okay for guys to get their eyebrows waxed, and it's okay yes. for guys to wear the identical outfit as their female co-workers. That's yes. Right. Fiona, yes, before, a... before you joined us here on BT, Drew did uh, a segment at Jerry's Hair Salon Baseball where he waxed his chest. And he oh. cried. I didn't was, cry. cried. My eyes were watering. <laughs> okay, well, listen, I need to tell you something. There's no crying and cross country skiing, okay? Because cross country skiing is one of my personal favorite winter activities. So I'm really stoked to be here at the Windsor Park Nordic Ski Center. And uh, we're going to get right into it because, like, I, I'm pumped to talk about one of my favorite sports. So we're joined with Steve Scholes. Hi. I told you I'm not great with last names, so we'll move forward. Okay. And uh, we're going to talk about skiing. And there's a lot of really important things that we should know before picking up a set of skis. Right, yeah. Well, first of all, welcome to Windsor Park Nordic Thank Center. You. With all the new snow, we've got great conditions for skiing, and we're going to open up this Saturday. Saturday. For skiing. Uh -huh. We've got rentals, uh, we've got great trails here, we've got lighted trails in the evening, so really want people to come out this weekend and ski. So. And it's five bucks drop in, right? Yes, five it's bucks. really inexpensive yeah. to come out and give it a no try. No brainer. Yeah. Okay, so how do we get started? Okay, well, for skis, for fitting skis, it's not based on a person. It's based on a person's weight. That's mm. the key thing. And the reason for that is because what's happening is when you put your weight on a ski, okay. it compresses. Right. And, the, and so what, when you do that, that compresses and that comes in contact with the snow. And that allows you to get some traction and grip on the snow. Okay. Well, these are quite bendy. Yes. Yeah, that's right. So, okay. And you don't want it too soft because if it compresses too much, then it digs into the snow. It drags. Right. It'll slow you down. So yeah. it's all based on weight. Um, that's the key part. Of and, choosing to ski. And what about like you're saying about slowing down? Doesn't wax kind of counterbalance that? Yeah, that's right. The wax is what actually grips the snow. But there's actually two types of skis. There's waxable mm -hmm. and waxless. So So what do we have here? Yeah, this is a waxless ski. So oh, you can wow. see here there's these fish scales along the bottom. So that's a simpler way to, to ski. You don't have to worry about the waxes. Um, they you, work. you would think that this would be like grippy and, and that would slow you down, but it doesn't. It speeds you up. Yes. Yeah, well, it, it allows you some grip without having the wax, and the wax, um, yeah, it's just, it's just simpler to use that and way. And what about poles? How do we pick poles? With poles, uh, it's actually quite simple with poles. It's the general rule of thumb is armpit height, so you just check, make sure it fits under your armpit, just like this one. And Perfect. Yeah. Now, you got some pretty posh boots here. Yeah. What's going on here? Because this is not... My grandma's boots. These right. have changed. <laughs> yeah. Well, the boot, actually, most of the time people have uh, boots as an afterthought. They spend all their time picking out skis. But the boot is probably the most important part of enjoying skiing. You want to make sure it fits right. You want to make sure it's, it's warm. Um, and also, there's different types of boots. Yeah. Uh, you can get a uh, women's boot, yeah. which has a narrower heel. So that'll fit better. Yes. Um, also, you want and with this nice fur lining here. Yes, nice little fur lining, just a little warmer and comfortable, and that. So. Wow, because like gone are the days where you had like the three prongs and you're trying to line them up and clip it down. Exactly. You just snap and yeah, go they're, now. Exactly. They're much more efficient to get in and uh, and use in that. This is. Yeah. Like, the technology that's gone into this is amazing. Yes. And we're going to learn so much more. We're going to actually hit the trails coming up right after 7 o'clock. You don't want to miss it. So much more coming up on BT Winnipeg. I've got them moves like Jagger.